Hey everyone, it's Rek here and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to boost FPS and reduce input lag in Fortnite Battle Royale using an SSD and I will be comparing the hard drive and SSD performance with benchmarks in Fortnite. Uh, so I just quickly wanna mention that I am accepting commissions over on the Twitter helping you guys boost FPS, reduce input delay and lower ping just for 5 bucks. So be sure to check that out and DM me there on Twitter for more information. So I had this idea for a while but I didn't have an SSD, then a couple of days ago I bought an SSD so I can finally make this video. I recorded all of the Fortnite benchmarks on the hard drive beforehand so that I can benchmark the SSD later on after reinstalling Windows and Fortnite. But I ran into two major issues. First one being due to my budget, I could only buy a 120GB SSD which due to Fortnite's huge file size, 120GB was a bit less storage space. Yeah. And now I had to choose if I want to install Windows or Fortnite on the SSD. So I did what any logical person would do and install Fortnite on the SSD. Nah, I'm just kidding, I installed Windows on it. And then came the second issue, remember all those hard drive benchmarks that I pre-recorded? Well, all of them got corrupted. I did try to recover them but it was no use. But since I know all of the benchmark results, I will be telling you guys those and the only thing missing will be the hard drive footage. So with all of that out of the way, let's begin today's video. Starting with the read and write speed benchmarks for which I used this software called Crystal Disk Mark, I will leave a link in the description if you want to download it yourself. You can see the results of the benchmarks on screen yourself. Then moving on to Fortnite, I decided to benchmark it in three different conditions. One in a creative map, two in a custom solo match and three in a public solo match. The reason for doing it was to get a better idea of what average number of FPS to expect in each of the scenario. Another thing to keep in mind is that I am recording the gameplay which also causes a bit of FPS drops so just be aware of that. By the way these are the settings that I will be using for the test and setting the FPS to unlimited will cause textures issues and FPS drops as you will see in the video but for the sake of it we will set the FPS to unlimited. Also here are all of my PC specs and as you guys can see I am using a low to mid range PC for the test. So now starting off with the creative map benchmarks. On the hard drive I was getting around 190 FPS but they did drop down to 100 to 110 from time to time. The frames fluctuated a lot, there were some micro stutters and also input delay while building. Whereas on the SSD I'm getting above 200 FPS and they only dropped down to 160 at times. The frames were not fluctuating as much and the game felt a lot smoother even on unlimited FPS. The recording experience was also way better than before. Overall I think in creative the hard drive did perform really well and can certainly get you playable FPS but the win goes to SSD for the overall smoother gameplay experience. So after playing in my creative map for hours I decided to finally go into a custom solo match. Again starting with the hard drive I was getting 140 FPS in pre-game lobby but they kept dropping down to around 100 FPS. Then in the actual game I was getting around 90 FPS with the frames sometimes dropping to 30. But for the most part I was getting over 60 FPS and capping the FPS at 60 helped a lot as well. Then for the SSD I was getting around 200 FPS in pre-game lobby whereas in the actual game I was getting around 170ish FPS but they kept dropping down to 90 to 100 but for the most part my FPS remained over 120. Overall I think both the hard drive and SSD performed really well and capping the FPS can really help in achieving those stable frames. So after that we move on to the public solo match. Starting with the hard drive again, in the pre-game lobby I got around 120ish FPS whereas in the actual game I was getting around 80 FPS which sometimes dropped to 30 and micro stutters due to setting the FPS to unlimited which were fixed by capping the FPS. Then moving on to the SSD I was getting around 190ish FPS in the pre-game lobby whereas in the actual game I got around 120 plus FPS which did drop to 60 sometimes and they were micro stutters due to setting the FPS to unlimited which were again fixed by capping the FPS. 
So those were all of the benchmarks in which the SSD greatly outperformed the hard drive. For those of you guys who want to buy an SSD but are unsure of the performance, just do it. I really recommend it and even you guys have seen the results now. So that was it for this video, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and make sure to drop a follow on Twitter and DM me there if you need help with anything. Also check out my discord server as I am having a huge free PC optimization giveaway over there. If this video helps you guys in any way shape or form, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So yeah, see you in the next one, until then, stay awesome.